Hello there Libras, welcome to your weekly reading. When I was shuffling out the spread for you, um, what I saw was I see this scene in an office. So it's like, you know, a, a very a traditional office type of environment. Everybody's wearing their um, their their blouse, their, the, the men are wearing their, um, uh, their business suit with a tie and everyone is very well groomed and they're wearing the nice office shoes. And I see this person, um, it looks like she's, it doesn't look like she's an intern. I feel like she has status. She has a good position in that office environment. She's holding a stack of, like a box full of stuff. It's, it's like, uh, it, it seems like a heavy box. It's like a bin with stuff in it. And she's like, well, I have to carry this kind of far, so I'm going to take off my shoes. So she takes off her shoes and she's walking barefoot and she runs into her boss and he sees her. He's like shocked. He sees her with this heavy box and he looks down at her feet and she's barefoot. And he's probably wondering, he's probably thinking, you know, the thought bubbles are like, what are you doing? And then I think he realizes that she's carrying this really heavy box and she probably has a long distance to go and the the shoes are probably not comfortable and so rather than chastising her he helps her with the box and he helps her move the box to wherever it is that she needs to go so that's what i'm sensing um that that's what i i saw when i did the um when i shuffled the cards for you so what it's telling me is you have somebody in your life that is very very understanding of your struggles okay whatever it is that you need to do um i feel almost like there is an unconventional way to do it and i feel like you don't have to follow the norm you don't have to follow the social expectations you don't have to you know um you, you don't have to do what is expected of you. There is a smarter way to do things or there is even possibly a better way to do things that might just require um, kind of like bucking the social mores, okay? Bucking the system or bucking like whatever is socially acceptable because I feel like we fall into these traps and um, People do these things and, you know, they look a certain way, they dress a certain way, they behave a certain way. And sometimes it doesn't even make sense anymore. Okay, so it's almost like following the herd when you should be creative with your own ideas. Following the herd when you should be leading the herd. Okay, so that's what I'm sensing um, for many of you. And uh, either way, I definitely feel like you're in an environment where your superiors, you know, because you have your, that supervisor, uh, you, what you're, where your superiors are very, very understanding of some of the struggles that you might have gone through. They're very supportive of you and your supervisor or whoever your superior is, whoever it is that you report to, um, they're also very unconventional, okay? So, you know, on the surface, they might look all prim and proper with their suit and tie and their nice polished shoes and their um, um, office hair, you know, whatever that office hairstyle is. Everyone has like really nicely trim, nicely styled hair. On the surface, maybe the supervisor has also had to follow the norms in order to get to his or her position but I feel like they understand that, you know, some of these rules don't make sense. We all have to play the game. We all have to, you know, fake it until we make it. And we help the ones that are trying to make it. So I, I feel like you have somebody who's really understanding, who's very supportive of your ideas. If you're trying to implement new projects that might be a little bit unconventional, you definitely have their full support. If you are seen as someone who's a little bit unconventional with the way you do things, I don't see a lot of Librans are just, you know, eccentric. Aquarius are very eccentric. I don't feel like Libras, you guys are. Um, if anything, I feel like you, you do follow these, uh, you know, social expectations to a T. And for whatever reason, maybe you have strong Aquarius placement in your chart. Uh, you might be a little bit more on the eccentric side. And I, I definitely feel either way, it doesn't matter. 
you have a lot of support for your groundbreaking ideas and you have a lot of support from higher ups okay um so going back to this spread this spread indicates to me that there is a situation in your life and you have a second chance here to go back and fix it and um, I don't see this very often I mean once this year I feel like it showed up for Taurus and uh, I feel like with you guys you have an, a second chance a do-over a reset pushing that soft reset button and being able to you know go back to to a, a specific moment in time and to be able to right a wrong to be able to rectify a situation to be able to clear the air to be able to gain some understanding some insights about a situation um, I feel like there was a situation you were dealing with another person possibly um, a fire sign so this is a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo um, I feel like both people were very confused about one another's agendas both both people were very confused about intentions and I feel as if you might have been projecting it's almost like a mirroring in uh, like a mirroring energy where if they're really friendly to you you're super friendly to them if they're standoffish and aloof the next day you're standoffish and aloof if they're moody you act moody so I, I feel like there was this massive mirroring uh, energy between you and this person and it created a lot of confusion it created a lot of trust issues it created a lot of um, I feel like power struggles as well with this person between you and this person um, their energy is a king and your energy is a um, this is a page okay they're coming across as a king king of wands in the reverse your energy is page of swords in the reverse and so what I'm feeling is I, I sense as if they have a very very good reason for why they're doing what they did or why they behave the way that they did and I feel like you don't see the full story you don't see the the full picture and you don't see like you're not able to make sense of a situation and so you have an opportunity to go back to the situation revisit this person and get all your answers or all your questions answered um, the nature of fire signs and I believe I mentioned this with the Scorpio reading fire signs in general are very dignified if you come at them straight they're gonna come at you very straight okay so if you ask a question they're gonna give you an answer if you want them to elaborate you have to ask further questions so they're just very straight shooters and um, if, if this has been a perplexing situation I feel like you need to go back and you need to get your closure or you need to be able to understand the situation because it feels to me like it's unfinished and I almost feel like the answer you, you might even you know fear the answer but the answer is going to be it, it's like the answer is really good and it's not something that you anticipated or expected to come out of this person um, breaching the topic or having that opportunity to talk is going to be very very awkward for both of you for both of you but once you clear the air things will take off okay so if this is like a boss for example it's going to create a, another like a another level of mutual understanding between you if this is like a love interest it might make you you know be in a relationship with them by the end of the week if you clear the air that's how powerful this energy is this is a do-over this is like a reset from the universe to allow you to right a wrong to fix a situation and to not just think about it but to take initiative to do something that I feel that you feel you owe it to yourself to do 
So if this is a love partner in particular, they have a really um, good reason for what they, they have done. And um, whenever I see the King of Wands, I always feel like it's someone who's very, very protective. They're not of themselves. They're very protective of the people that they love. And take that whichever way you want. They could be protective of you. They could be, you know, not wanting you to get hurt. But there is a situation here. You think it's one way, but it's actually another way. And um, you might be fearful or afraid to, to have this, this conversation or this discussion because you might be fearful of the truth. You might be, you might be afraid that it's going to stir up some conflict. Or you might feel like, oh, it's too awkward. I'd rather just bury it and, and be done with it and move on. Um, but the answer is something that I feel is totally unexpected. You did not see things in that way. And it's going to shed some light. And I, I just feel like the truth is so much better than you anticipated. And so overcome that awkwardness to have this conversation. It's, um, I feel almost like you're being led back to this situation. You're being led back. You're being, you, you're, you're being given this opportunity. You're, it's going to solve a lot of, um, problems and it's going to shed some light into a situation that you, you, once you it's revealed it's almost like oh my gosh i didn't realize i had so many blind spots i didn't realize that you know i was seeing things in such a tunnel vision so it's going to give you a holistic view like a panoramic view and you're going to be shocked in a very good way okay so have this conversation go back to it fix it resolve it whatever awkwardness there is it needs to be cleared up so that's the first message um, I feel like many of you, your relationship status might change this week, okay? So if you're single, um, not the other way around though, but if you're single, you might be in a relationship or you might be dating or you might be um, starting to commit to, to one person. Um, I don't see people who are, you know, coupled up and then broken up though. I don't see that going that way. I just feel like if you're single, you, you might end up in a relationship and that's why it's so important to clear the air. Um, there's opportunity for dating and there's opportunity for romance. So there's a lot of that coming up into in, in this spread. And what I have here is just a lot of um, social gatherings, a lot of outings, a lot of opportunities to socialize, mingle, get to know people and be around, you know, really attractive people in general. Um, this is a card about, you know, celebration, and it's usually like social dating, socializing, uh, getting to know somebody, and it can denote, you know, whatever level, commitment, going out with a significant other, or getting to know somebody, taking things to the next level. And we have as well, the Eight of Wands, electronic communication, communication com coming in very, very quickly. And so, if you have been single, this is the single person, Nine of Pentacles. Um, they have a lot of financial abundance, but when it's in the reverse, I almost feel like the end to your single life, the end to seclusion and isolation, if life has always been about work, 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 this is the week where you have a major breakthrough, where you're going to be able to connect to somebody and, you know, feel almost like, feel almost complete, okay, like um, complete total satisfaction and happiness. If life has been kind of mundane, if you're just going through the motions, home and work, this is a card about boredom, dreaming for something bigger, dreaming for, you know, whoever it is that you could be thinking about to come into the picture. All it took was for the conversation to start and for two people to clear the air or the conversation to start and for you to make that connection. So I definitely feel love and abundance is all around you. And I, I feel like this is not the week to dwell on past relationships. Okay, it's not, so, it's not that great. 
unless you have that person where there is um you know like con confusion lack of closure and things like that or you still have that person that you're still pining after but you have been just keeping them in your head rather than reaching out and making that connection so that's what i'm sensing i feel like for many of you um in the work environment you might be in a position of prominence or you might be thrust into a position of prominence very soon so i i keep seeing this imagery of somebody like grooming somebody into a pos uh, into like a leadership position or all the signs could be pointing towards you know leadership because Honestly, Libras, you guys are very, very smart, okay? You guys are really, really intelligent. And, you know, out of all the air signs, the Geminis, they're, they're great communicators. They're great orators. But I feel like the, um, Aquarius people, they're great leaders when they believe in a cause, but they don't really want to take the, the initiative to lead the way, and they're not very diplomatic. They can, could be very blunt and very curt, um, but I feel like... Aquarius and Gemini's are a little bit scattered. They don't have your attention to details. Um, you are very detail oriented, like a Virgo. And you are also very meticulous with the things that you do, like a Virgo. You're perfectionistic, almost like a Virgo. And so I feel like, you know, that blend of uh, intelligence, perfectionism, and you have patience. You have a lot more patience than Aquarius, than Gemini's. Um, you are also very diplomatic. So like being in a position of leadership, it's almost like it's destined for you. And so I don't know if all the signs are pointing in that direction. You might, for example, so for example, right now, you might just be a worker. You're not like a supervisor or manager. And then all of a sudden you start seeing, you know, in your uh, mailbox, here's a leadership uh, seminar and it's designed for supervisors. Or here's a uh, an opportunity to lead a leadership seminar, or, you know, something like that. Just like a bunch of little signs, and you might not, you might have just recently started a job, and you already. And I know you guys are really smart, and people around you know it, and so there might already be, you know, a lot of eyes on you because people are gauging and people know your potential. And so I feel like if this is, if you have just started out and you're just like, I'm still trying to learn the ropes. I'm not aiming for too uh, much responsibility right now. I'm still just trying to get my foot in the door and I'm trying to take it easy. But I feel like all the signs are pointing in that direction. And the reason I say that here is the three of wands. This is leading the flock. You can see all the people that are behind him. He's on top of the hill, leading the way, leading the, the charge, okay? So I definitely feel something's on the horizon for you. And I feel like right now, it might just be something that you kind of think about, but you're not really heavily invested in it. But I feel like it's gonna come out of the blue and the opportunity will present itself. And I feel like you should grab the opportunity if it does come in. So you might've started um, a job, you know, like a few for a few months and um you're doing really well and then all of a sudden a new job opens and, and then your supervisor might even tell you you should apply for it and you're just like i don't know if i qualify i just started but you you do and that's why your supervisor might be you know nudging you to apply for something that you feel is a little bit outside of your league okay um take the chance if we take the opportunity, then we'll know. If not, it's always going to be a pipe dream. It's always going to be out there. And you might be looking back on it, you know, a few months, a few years down the line with regret that you didn't do it sooner. So I feel like the energy for this spread is about what should have been or what could have been. And is really urging you to make a move, is really urging you to start and initiate and 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 you know be the catalyst of change in your own life rather than waiting for things to come in rather than waiting for things to happen you kind of need to take the initiative um and i feel like this is in your career this is also in your love life okay if you want it to be the way that you want the way you envision the way you dreamed of 
you have to be the one to take initiative. So overcome that sense of stagnation. Overcome that sense of, I want things to fall on my lap, or if it's meant to be, it should fall on my lap. Well, life rarely works out that way. So, um, you know, try your best to Try your best to, to, to rectify situations. Be the one to reach out. Be the one to make the change. Be the one to hunt for new opportunities, okay? So I will leave it at that, Libras. I wish you all the best and uh, take care of yourself. I will be back next week, okay? Hope the reading resonates and I'll see you guys soon.